our previous videos, we've considered cases where x is approaching to a real number. But in this video, we'll consider the cases where x is approaching to an infinity. Assuming we have a limit as x tends to infinity of 2x squared plus 2. For us to solve this, oh, we are going to use direct substitution. Then I have 2 to be into the squared plus 2. And this is same thing as 0. So the, my final answer is 2. And this is the limit. What if we are given a question like this? Limit as x times to infinity 3x squared minus 7x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 5x squared if we decide to use a direct substitution okay let's solve with direct substitution first then we have 3x squared with 3 infinity minus 7 into infinity plus 1 divided by 2 into infinity minus 5 into infinity squared v squared so this is same thing as 1 because this one will be 0 this will be 0 for this one I have this will be infinity minus infinity which will still give me infinity and a real number divided by infinity will still be 0 so you see that using direct substitution in this case doesn't work because if we, if we continue using direct substitution, all the solutions will be zero. So for us to solve this, is we divide both the numerator and denominator with the reciprocal of the highest power of x. And the highest power of x, x here is 2, which is x squared. So then I have limit as x tends to infinity, 3x squared minus 7x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 5x squared multiplied by the highest power of x is x squared is 1 divided by x squared 1 divided by x squared Then I have the limit x tends to infinity, which is 3x squared minus 7x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 5x squared. And the same thing as 1 over x multiplied by 1 over x. And this is same thing as the limit as x tends to infinity. Then we use this to open the bracket. We have 3x squared divided by this x squared rather. x squared minus 7x divided by x squared plus 1 divided by x squared divided by 2x divided by x squared minus 5x squared divided by x squared and this is equal to 
limit as x tends to infinity this will give me 3 minus 7 over x plus 1 over x squared divided by 2 divided by x minus 5 minus 5 now let's substitute x to be infinity in this expression i have this to be equal to 3 minus 7 divided by infinity plus 1 divided by infinity divided by 2 divided by infinity minus 5 and we know that any number divided by infinity is 0 so this one will go this one will go this one will go as well we are left with 3 divided by minus 5 instead of passing through this route you can just quickly divide each element with the highest power of x and that's what we have at this place which is still the same thing consider this example too if we are asked to evaluate uh, the limit as x tends to infinity the square root of x cube x cube minus 1 divided by 4x cube minus 5x squared plus 3 so now to solve this we divide by each number here by x cube so this is limit x tends to infinity square root of s cube divided by x cube minus 1 divided by s cube divided by 4 x cube divided by x cube minus 5 x squared divided by x cube plus 3 divided by x cube remember the square root covers everything then i have limit as x tends to infinity the s cube divided by s cube will give me 1 this is 1 minus 1 divided by s cube divided by this will give me 4 minus 5x squared divided by s cube plus 3 divided by x cube if we substitute x to be infinity in this we have the square root of 1 minus 1 divided by infinity cube 4 minus 5 infinity squared divided by infinity cube plus 3 divided by infinity and this will go this one will go as well and this one will go so i will be left with the square root of 1 divided by 4 and the square root of 1 the same square root of 1 is a uh, 
1 and square root of 2 uh, square root of 4 is 2 and this is our answer in this example we are asked to find the limit as x tends to infinity of 7 plus 3x squared minus 3x cubed divided by 1 plus 4x cubed dividing each number by x cubed we have the limit as x tends to infinity 7 divided by x cubed plus 3x squared divided by x cubed minus 3x cubed divided by x cubed divided by 1 divided by x cubed plus 4x cubed divided by x cubed this will give me the limit as x tends to infinity 7 divided by x cubed plus 3x squared divided by x cubed minus 3 divided by 1 divided by x cubed plus 4 so if we substitute x to be infinity we have 7 divided by infinity cube plus 3 infinity squared divided by infinity cube minus 3 divided by 1 divided by infinity cube plus 4 so this will give me 0 this will give me 0 this will give me 0 as well so I'm left with minus 3 divided by 4 and this is my final answer in the case if you're solving uh, if you're writing objective exam you don't have to show your steps like this so the secret of this uh, limit tends to infinity when x approaches infinity all you have to do is just take note of the coefficient of highest power of x like for this one the coefficient of highest power of x here is is 3 and here is minus 5 so and this is our answer for this example two you have this to be square root of the coefficient of the highest power of x here is cube, like x cube, right? So our coefficient of x cube here is 1. And the coefficient of x cube here is 4. Then the square root of 1 will give me 1. And the square root of 4 will give me 2. And that's why we're having 1 over 2 as our answer. For this example 2, the highest power of x is x cube right so the coefficient of x cube is minus 3 and coefficient of x cube here is 4 and this is how to solve it while writing a multiple choice exam thank you for watching our video please don't forget to follow us if you have any question don't hesitate to email us at science academy at gmail.com thank you